Hello everyone, this is Icona Kona, and in this video I wanted to go over some things that I've learned in Team Deathmatch in Battlefield 3. Now, when you hear Team Deathmatch in Battlefield 3, you're thinking, what? No, that's not right. Well, the thing is, in this game, Battlefield 3, they added a Team Deathmatch mode into the Battlefield game. So this is the first time they're doing an actual Team Deathmatch. All that matters is KD ratio. Now, I don't really like to judge players based on KD ratio because a lot of these games that I play are objective based and if you're going for an objective you're a very objective based person you're going to die a lot because it's very very risky going to arm a bomb disarm a bomb capture a flag all those things are very very risky things but in team deathmatch all that goes away there is no objective except to kill the enemy and die the least amount of time so all that really matters is your KD ratio and that's the nature of team deathmatch now, pretty much every map has a team deathmatch mode, and basically what they do is they corner off a certain area of the map, of the bigger map that we know in Conquest and in Rush, and it becomes a team deathmatch arena. The thing is, this is not a very linear map. It's very, very wide open, and the spawns are kind of weird in this game. So sometimes you have people spawning right behind you. Actually, what I had before was like, I will spawn in, and the enemy spawns right behind me, and as soon, the second the game starts, I get shot in the back, and I'm like, where did that come from? So, the spawns are a little funky in this game, so you have to watch out. Uh, but, other than that, it plays pretty much like a basic team deathmatch. You have to learn the spots, you have to keep on moving. That's what I've learned, you have to actually just keep on moving. Now, I actually noticed that my teammate died over here, so I'm trying to use the minimap. And the minimap is a good way to kind of gauge where the enemy is and where your teammates are. So... I saw on the minimap that my teammate just died on the right side here, and so I know that there's a lot of enemies here, there are probably a lot of them that are going to turn this corner, so I'm just trying to take cover here. And what I like about this game is the lighting as well, the graphics are awesome. But sometimes it can be a pain to, to look for people in the dark, which is why the flashlight sometimes is, is really helpful. But I can try to use this darkness here as cover, this building as cover. And because I'm dressed, I actually earned some camouflage, so I'm dressed a little darker. Uh, it actually helps me so that these guys don't even see me. Luckily, these guys don't see me. Take this guy out, and I know that there's a second guy over here. Come over here, this sniper's not paying attention, and take him out as well. Now, if you earned a silencer for your weapon, I suggest you put it on for Team Deathmatch because these maps are small and the audio from all these weapons can give your position away. If you're using an unsilenced weapon and you take a shot, the audio is so good in this game that you can actually kind of figure out where that shot came from and try and flank that guy. And also if you shoot, you're going to show up, you're probably going to get spotted and you're going to show up on the minimap anyway. So I suggest using a silenced weapon and you have to keep on moving around. That's what I found out in this game. You have to keep on moving. The spawns are so weird that you know I haven't really learned the spawn system too well in this game yet, especially for this you know this TDM. The spawns are kind of weird, and so staying still is gonna get you killed really fast because once your team moves around and you're all alone and you stayed still, this enemy is gonna spawn right behind you and they're gonna get you. So I noticed that in this game you have to keep on moving around, uh, trying to. Um, whenever I try to move around, I actually try to use the outside of the map as much as possible or places where I know that the enemies aren't going to see me too much. If you run out in the open and try to flank the enemy, well that's well that's obviously not flanking the enemy, is it? And so yeah, I suggest moving around the outside of the map that way the enemy won't see you as much. Now, if you string a lot of kills together, you're probably going to run out of ammo. The thing is, support people in this game are not as effective as giving out ammo as say in Conquest or in Rush. This game mode is so fast that support guys don't have enough time to drop ammo packs for you. So you're either going to have to go and find them if they're actually staying still, or you're just going to have to pick up an enemy's weapon like me and, you know, use this weapon. So I notice that when I play TDM a lot and I string a lot of kills together, I'm just going to have to eventually switch weapons because I use up so much ammo. But uh, that's alright, I get experience more with, you know, with different kinds of guns, which is nice. And, uh, and also, using different kinds of guns, you earn you know, experience, I guess, with that gun, and you can unlock more for that gun. Now, in terms of what classes to play when you're playing TDM, oh, look at this guy, not, I should have knifed him. <laughs> I should have, knifing is more important in this game because you get a dog tag. It's not like Call of Duty or anything where it's just kind of quick knife. Knives act knifing actually means something in this game where you get someone's dog tag, so I should have went for that one. Oh, well, that other guy probably would have killed me anyway. But as for which classes to play in Team Deathmatch, 
you can really play any class. Sometimes I like to play as engineer, and really an engineer, you can't do much except for shooting people with your gun or, you know, blowing up walls, you know, with your RPG. So, you know, you can really play with any class, but I do suggest that if you play as like a sniper class, sniping is going to be tough. Probably a semi-automatic uh, rifle will do well, or perhaps a shotgun or an SMG, and you just keep on moving around really quickly, because these maps are not really made for sniping. Uh, on this particular map, this is Operation Firestorm, there is a way to get on the roofs of these buildings, and you can actually snipe from up there, so you don't have to worry too much about people flanking you, but unfortunately, these roofs have a lot of access points, so even if you are sniping from the top, Someone's going to try and go in behind you, go up a ladder, and try and flank you, and probably knife you. So, sniping is not the best on this map, and pretty much any other TDM match or TDM map. So, I recommend if you're going to be a sniper, go with something that's really quick, like an SMG or a shotgun, and keep on moving around, because the spawns are so unpredictable that you don't want to get flanked from behind. Now, a medic is really important, because you can actually revive people, but unfortunately... The respawn time, or the time that you stay dead before you know you actually respawn, is so short that reviving people doesn't really help too much, or it's too risky to actually go and revive people because there's just not enough time. But the health pack is really, really useful. And oh, look at this camper right here. Set up a claymore and it got me. So, oh, same guy. But yeah, the health pack is really, really useful. You're going to get a lot of points if you're being a medic and dropping down health packs because people are constantly getting hit all over the place. So the health packs are really useful. But the defibrillators, not so much, just because there's not enough time to actually go and revive someone. You can see that the guy in front of me just died. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to go out there. And look, he respawned anyway, so that really wasn't enough time to use my defibrillator. So that's today's video. If you're new around here and you enjoyed it, you can click on that yellow button and subscribe to me. Also, two videos you may have missed. On the left, some demo man on steel. And on the right, some sniper on frontier. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.